this video I want to unpack and show the Gigabyte MS33ARO. It's in my opinion the best motherboard for Intel. I bought it myself, I didn't get paid for it and I will now unbox it and show it. So what do I mean with the best motherboard? Um, it's the AGA4677 socket, so it's a server platform and motherboard. And it supports up to 60 cores, which can have 64 gigabytes of HBM2 or not. Um, it's for the Sapphire Rapids Xeon 4 into Xable generation and it's the motherboard with I, th I think with the best features. I bought it for myself, for my new computer system, and it is the motherboard with the most PCI Express slots and with the most memory slots um, for the AGA4677 socket. So it supports eight memory channels with two DIMMs per channel, so 16 memory slots are available. Um, with normal DDR5 memory, it supports up to, uh, up to one terabyte. And with 3D DRAM, it supports up to four terabytes of memory. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven PCI Express slots which are mechanical x16 slots but you cannot use everyone as an x16 slot so there's a switch um, you can use everyone as an x8 slot or four as an x16 slot and the other one as an x8 slot Uh, it supports, if you use only one DIMM per channel, so eight DIMMs, I wrote it down, uh, that means you have DDR5 4800 eight times, which is 307.2 gigabytes per second. If you use 16 memory banks, then um, it supports up to DDR5 4400, which would be 563.2 gigabytes per second. Um, the reason why I decided to buy the AGA4677 socket from Intel and not the AMD Threadripper or AMD Epic platform is that I want to do um, machine learning, fine-tuning from large language models with um, my CPU because I want to fine-tune it not quantized. So those models will not fit in my GPU memory and even if I would buy multiple RTX 490s, um, it still would not really fit inside. So the only option I would have is to rent or buy a100s or H100s, which are way too expensive. Um, and here, I just can plug 512 or one terabyte of memory inside, and then the whole model which will fit inside. I could do this with the Thread Ripper platform or with the Epic platform too, but um, the fourth generation of Intel CPU supports AMX instructions which stands for advanced matrix extensions 
and so they are about like four times faster than um, the fastest CPUs from AMD. Um, yeah, we have. Ah, I will at first continue with the unboxing and and look what's inside the package. Some plastic. some fancy things for the socket. It will be difficult to put the CPU inside. I uh, um, have three plastic things, which will hopefully help me. One cover. Ooh. M.2 heat sinks, which is really cool. I didn't expect it that for a server mainboard, usually for, for gaming things, so that's amazing. And uh, if I want to mount more hard drives, some adapter, which I can plug inside and attach um, four SSDs. Yeah, and some manual, which tell me um, I only bought, bought uh, eight DDR5 memory banks, so I think it will tell me where I will have to put it inside, um, which ones I have to use, and also how to mount the CPU on the socket. There is some integrated GPU inside, but I will use my RTX 490 for it. Um, here is one M.2 slot. And um, two USB 3.2 slots, three network slots. Two are 10 gigabytes per second LAN, one is for some monitoring for server farms which I don't need. Um, there are support for some fans and um, USB 3.2 again. Yeah, so the mainboard is huge. Um, I think it will not fit in the most computer cases inside. Um, it's extended ATX, um, but I, I think it will not fit in the most cases inside. In the past I also bought a similar mainboard and then I had to drill some holes in my case. So maybe I can use this case again, but the mainboard is huge. Okay, that's it. Um, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And in the future, I will do more videos with this. I will do one video where I'll build my new computer and other videos where I do actual machine learning and fine tuning. Thank you for watching.